already. Every now and then, I find myself at work, especially when it comes to the truck. Sometimes I find myself here, and I have to ask myself the question, had I not shown up, would anybody have noticed? Like, I've been here since 4. Well, I got the truck at 4. I didn't get here until about a quarter to 5 because I stopped off to get me something to eat. But here it is now. It's almost 8 o'clock. And not even so much as a call. You know, nothing's going on. Nothing's happening. They haven't needed me for anything. Which is fine, you know. Sometimes there are days where you just don't get a call. No big deal. But I wonder... If I wasn't here at all, like, if I just went home, because honestly, I stay 10 minutes from here. If I were to go home and, like, lay down, would anybody even notice? You see, I'm the kind of guy who my sensibilities won't let me do that. Look, will I jerk around at work? Sure. I mean, I brought my laptop. I'll probably do some writing. I listen to music. I listen to podcasts. I watch stuff on my phone. You know, I might not go walk around on the station as much as they would like me to when I'm in the truck. But I'm here. You know, I can't bring myself to just go home and take a nap. You know, how would I justify that? If they, if something did pop off and they needed me for something... I wouldn't be able to justify why I was at home, you know, and while I may have gotten a little more relaxed with, you know, pride in the uniform, like when I'm in the truck, I don't even tuck in my shirt, I don't wear the tactical belt, I don't use like the little radio over the shoulder, like there are little things that I don't do when I'm in the truck because it's unheard of, like why would I, you won't even like see it, but I have to be here. You know, if you are paying me to be here, then I have to be here. You know, if you schedule me for the day, I'm going to show up. Because, I don't know, that character? Is that integrity, I guess? I just, I know there are some people who take advantage of the fact that the job is pretty simple. There are a lot of people who, you know, take longer breaks. Like, I won't even hold you up. Sometimes I take long-ass breaks. But I'm always at my station. I'm always present. I'm always listening for the radio, and I'm ready for uh, something to go down. So, while I will always ask the question, would they even notice if I wasn't here? I'll never find out. Like, it's just not a thing I'm willing to do. I don't want... (sighs) That's... I've built a really good reputation here in this company. Like, they know me. They know of me. They know the things I do. You know, they, they think a lot of me here. And I just, I refuse to be one of those people who take advantage of reputation. So... Even on days when I don't get a call and nothing's going on, I'll be here. Like, I think that's important. Uh, In other news, uh, it has officially been a week now since I went and did my live scan. Um, They said it usually takes about a week. But also, I want to say that a lot of people were thrown off because of the Easter holiday. So I'm expecting to hear something by Tuesday or Wednesday. In regards to my new regional transit position. You know. If something were to go wrong. And I didn't get it. I wouldn't be too mad. You know. I couldn't be too mad about it. Because I do okay here. You know. And if I just have to go try to find something else. Somewhere else. That would be fine. I mean I'd be a little disappointed. But I'd be alright. Because this company guarantees me 40 hours a week. So, at the very least, I'll get 40, you know? Which is all I really signed up for. Like, this 60 hours a week crap, (laughs) this is not what I signed up for. But, you know, I've got, what, 24 hours in the truck this week? So, that would mean 16 hours at a station would put me at 40. But, you know, that's not what's going to happen. 
you know, I'm still going to end up working closer to 60 hours. But it's fine. It's, it's more than good. Um, still got my fingers crossed. Wait, wow, I'm really not good at that. Uh, fingers are crossed as I wait for this email or a letter or a phone call or something. Waiting for something, somebody to let me know what's happening. But in the meantime, I will continue to do this job to the best of my ability because that's what they pay me for.